Hello everyone, Habibi here. In my previous video, I was trying to activate and deactivate CCTV camera by uh, by controlling the player. For example, if the player walks towards this uh, camera, this camera should be activated and this one, the older one, should be deactivated. But the problem is, by default, this camera is inactive so if the player goes there it won't trigger the trigger box here so i was thinking that the solution is to not deactivate or activate the entire object for example if this camera object is disabled like this the box collider will be also disabled so instead i will only deactivate this camera component instead of the entire the whole game object all right guys uh, because we are going to have multiple cameras in in same scene and all of those cameras are active maybe we will have problem or a warning later because we have multiple audio listener that's why I think I need to disable the audio listener of these cameras except the first one so here I'm going to disable this audio listener and yeah then then I edit the script CCTV script here on the for loop uh, on the yes for loop I was activating and deactivating the game object but I think the better the better thing is to activate and deactivate the camera component only get component camera enabled faults we will do it this way guys this one too then I will run the game okay I'm going to walk in that way you can check the console window here to check is the detection work or not you see this message it is detecting the camera 0051 one and if I walk back this way I will detect the cam 005 okay it is working now then we will continue to complete this block activate camera by name here I'm going to do a for loop this way I copy this just delete this one and paste this here inside this for loop let me copy this part also and then change this one if come name equals to uh, cctv cctv is num dot yeah the name of the game object is equal to the cam name here as the parameter then we will enable it enable the camera component true and else we will disable it
Um, no, 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 guys. I forget what is. Delete this part, and what we will do is to call this function, guys. and set it to false show camera false and don't forget to set the active no the current cam variable to be the num here okay that's all now let's go back to unit editor and test the game We are on the cam 005 one. Oh yeah, the drop down menu is not updated, so I need to set it to true. This way, okay. yeah, I forgot about that. Let's try it again. Play the game. look at this text now we are on the CCTV cam 005 and drop down menu is also CCTV cam 005 we go that way now we are on the CCTV cam 0051 and let's continue to walk that way now we are on the CCTV cam 006 just walk forward until we reach the next CCTV. Uh, I'm not sure where is the character. Let me manually change the camera. Where am I? <laughs> I cannot see the character, guys because I did not place the cameras quite nice so let me just uh, duplicate those cameras after this camera we need another camera here and the trigger the box collider should be this long uh, I place it here and then we have this number 7 and then this one and then this one ok lah let's try it again automatically guys according to where the character is mm -hmm. okay guys what do you think about it if you like this tutorial and the videos please just click the like button and subscribe to my channel to support this channel I'm making my own games and when my game is ready I publish it on Google Play or and also Apple App Store 
you can find my games there and alright guys that's all for this video about this CCTV camera system CCTV CCTV style game I will pack it has a single unity package that you can reuse but I am not sharing it for free I will sell it for you with a somehow cheap price if you want to support me you can purchase the package later I will prepare it and post it to my next video I will let you know that's all for this tutorial thank you for watching bye bye see you next time